Hi guys, I'm doing another review, this time on a Lego Technic 8109 tow truck. Comes with some power functions up here. As you can see, and here is the uh, tow truck. Um, it has uh, six wheels, which is a reasonable amount. And uh, it's yellow and red, as you can tell, with the black on the back. Um, around the front, really nice front design, I think. I really, I really like the front of this truck. It looks uh, pretty awesome with the uh, cool uh, light design and that. Sorry, I'm getting a bit jolty. Hang on. Right, okay. We'll start at the top here. We've got a light bar here, massive long light bar. Some more lights up here. Uh, uh, sun visor here. It says Technic on it, logo Technic. And the front it says Road Service. And then a number plate LT8109 with the stickers at the sides as well. Pretty cool door mirrors and the uh, hang on. and the and the dashboard in there with uh, blue seats. No opening doors; these doors don't open. Steps and the steering, which is operated from this cog up here. As you can see, so hang on. And it's very awkward to film this. So hang on. There we go. Oh dear, snap the snap the gear. Hang on. There we are. Back in action. So yeah, you can see the steering working. And uh I suppose now onto the functions of it. Come down here. We see this cabinet thing that can open. And uh as you can see here, we have a lever which we can switch there, switch there, and switch there, depending on what we want it to do. So, um, first of all, we'll switch to here, which is the um, thing to tow the cars with the tail hook, which is uh, this piece here. So, uh, now we go up to our battery box, and uh, flip the switch. So hang on, let me just get the camera down here for you. Hang on, will that be enough for you? Okay, so here goes the uh, tail. Hang on, it's locked in. Sorry, I locked the tail. There we are. Now it does get stuck quite often. This is something I have. A, I don't like about this set. The tail does get stuck. Ah, there we go. Yeah, the tail sometimes. The tail lift sometimes gets stuck quite a lot. In fact, an awful lot, and it's stuck again. Right now, it, oh no, it's working. It still wants to work, and uh, it's stuck again. Oh my goodness, I think we're down on power of it as well, so hang on. Well, there's the failed tail lift, as you can see, that hasn't gone very well because it can't... It's not very powerful, if you know what I mean. You try and put a Lego Technic on that, it just flattens, I tried it before. And uh, it's hopefully quicker going in. Oh yeah, that's how it's meant to go, only coming out as well, if you know what I mean. It's meant to do it like that, and it's just a bit... Bad. The reason why it didn't work at the beginning was because it stops there, and then you can push it in, and it locks. Um, so yeah. Now we move back to our switch, and flip it this way. And now we have to move back even further, in fact a lot further. Hang on, let me just move, keep on moving the camera back here. Oh, drop the camera. Keep on moving. So I'm going to I'm gonna get a stand for the camera soonish. But uh, I haven't got one at the moment, so hang on. Oh, a bit further back. Okay, we'll only need that in the picture. So yeah, I'm going to flip on the switch again and uh, do this other function. Yeah, this is the main function of the set, you could say. Um, the uh, ramp. So there is the uh, ramp here. And uh, as you can see, it comes all the way down so you can load the car. And to load the car, we have a... Uh, winch with a lock so you flip it up and it locks the winch and then you flip it down then just pl uh, take it off its uh, holder thingy hang on it's really awkward there we are and then you can uh, pull it out as you can see so you can pull it out and it's really long because I use all the string on these and then you have a cable to wind it back up then you uh, put the winch onto this 
bar here, wind it up a bit more. Then we uh, lock the winch. And now it's sort of, hang on, I'll show you the lock in better detail in a second, hang on. Take this hook off again, put it there. Right now I can pull that down if I put the lock on. I can't pull it any further. But if you twist it the other way, then it kind of unlocks the lock automatically. It's quite clever. So yeah, that's the winch. Also we get a pretty cool brake lights, indicators and a bar just stop it from going in the car from going into the back of a cab. And uh, if we move back again we can see it shut. And there we go. So there it was. And uh, if you're wondering, if I just shut that round the other side, there, there isn't anything. There's just this that opens to the motor in there. So that's pretty awesome. Well, not awesome. I wish that would stay shut. Around the back, we have our lights and the tail lift. And that's about it. Uh, just one more complaint I have with this set. Well, it's actually the only... Well, I don't know whether I had another complaint with it or not. I don't really care. But uh, getting the battery box out to change the batteries is a nightmare. Okay, you've got a... I don't even know how to do it properly. I know you have to take off the wing mirrors. So actually, it's in the instruction manual. Hang on, let me just open the box here. Because I'm really, I really am confused at how this, uh, this works here. So uh, let me go to manual number three, which is really awkward because it's all number one and number one. Number three? Number three, okay. Let's go to the back and see if it tells us how to operate the thing. No, that's not helpful. It tells us just before this panel. I'm sorry, guys, about this. But I want to see, because I'm a bit confused at how this whole thing... Ah, oh, here it is. Here's the page. So, in order to get the battery box out, we need to... Um, Okay, so when you take the, uh, oh, I get it, okay, put these back on, hang on, let's just put it back to its original state so we totally understand, because this is so hard, this is the only reason I wouldn't get this set, and that's because of this, this problem here, we take this top, these top bits off here, like so, off the top here, cog and that for steering, then we uh, just uh, flip it forwards according to this. How does that work? You can't flip it forwards. You gotta take take that out. Take that out. You can't flip it forwards. Hang on, let me just Oh 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 hang on. I think you can actually. Yeah you can just there we are. That is how it works. Now it's open. Now we unclip this piece here and then we can pull the battery box out and uh put it back in. Also this actually helps. I'm going to show you the inside in there. That's all the steering rack and that all inside. Very empty inside. So that's a good thing actually. In there, you can place motors above there and that, and you can actually make this a very easily remote controlled. Because I once saw a remote controlled one of these on YouTube, and I thought, how on earth did they uh, make that remote controlled? Because underneath the chassis back here, there is no, no room at all. I'll show you that in a minute because uh, if I just uh, reflip the um, if we just reopen the uh, tail back thing to lift the car, as you can see, there is no room to motorise it. So the only place, if you're going to make this uh, run by itself, is to, uh, you know, like remote control, is to put it in the cab, because there is literally no room at the back there. So I shall now show you, um, quickly, just before we finish. Um, yeah, it's already on. So, uh, come on, hurry up. There is the drive, and you can see there is no room down there. And uh, I just want to do that quickly because otherwise this review is going to be too long to put on YouTube. Uh, so um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, bye.